similar to this. This is the web page, by the way. So these are some images that we can find about this and what we are going to do basically go step by step. And here are some images. However, what I'll also be doing today is also showing you how you can grab some images and put that into your Grasshopper canvas so that you don't always go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and how we are going to do this. So let's start creating our model. So this is my Rhino and Grasshopper screen. And if I go to prompts, sorry, under display crabs, we can add the image gallery. Image gallery is a component in which we can store images or we can see uploaded images online. So if you double click to it, you see remote image URLs, local image data. So I'll go to my folder 11 because this is our 11th playlist. I grab this image and put it in and it automatically creates this image. And what we see here, we see sort of a grid distortion and we see some height changes and everything. I'll go step by step for all this. But in this very first video, we'll talk about how we can create this grid distortion. And if I need to take another image, double click to it again, and this time delete this one and maybe have this guy over here so that we know yeah, sort of like a distorted grid, you see. Obviously, it's related with the plots in this case, but we'll create our own plots. Before we jump into a more articulated organization as such, I want to take you through the logic of how we can distort a grid. So if I grab an XY plane, if I grab a square grid, size can be 10 meters, or like, I don't know, 50 meters. It's completely up to you. This is a representation, obviously. Like, let's say five by five uh, grid. And if I preview this one. Well, obviously what I want to have kind of an attractor point, right? So this is my grid. So I can easily group this, grab an empty point container, put the point in, set one point. And we'll discuss how we can create this. So the problem here is we have the cells and in order to keep the organization of these cells or squares, we want to play with the points of these squares. So I'll use this continuity component to extract the points. And if you remember from the previous uh, tutorials, this continuity is showing the points that are not overlapping. Whereas when we use explode, it will have five points because it explodes it twice. So what I'll be doing now is I'll create sort of a link between these points and this one, right? How I do that? So if I, and if I want to kind of create a distortion or like a, uh, going up, going large or going small by using the same kind of an organization, I need to use some vectors, right? Between these points and these points. So I'll go grab a vector two points. So basically what I'm going to create is create a vector with this one and this one. And if I visualize this, uh, if I go to display preview, preview vector, vector display, starting point, and these are the vectors. Obviously we can do the other way around. You want to make it larger like this and these are going to be our anchor so you see my point here is sending a vector for each and every corner right but each and every corner now if i use this vector to move what i'll be doing i'll be separating these tiles from one another which i don't want to do therefore i'll be using kind of i need to use sort of a length of this vector right but now what i'm seeing is the lengths are not changing because they're on the same level. To make it happen, what I can do is I can do a small trick to deconstruct this point. Sorry, first we have to deconstruct this point. And I'll be using a Z vector, which will be my distortion factor. 
like let's say 50 okay and if i use this point as my vector what i'll be seeing is you see I now have different lengths of vectors. I'm not going to use this. I'll be using this vector just to visualize. Our important thing is, when I change this, you see the lengths are changing and I'm only concerned with the lengths. Okay. And that's that's all what I'm doing. And you see why vectors are doing this because my point is connected here as my anchor. And if I change this over here, you see, my lengths are being changed. So that, that's something I'm after. So I'm not going to use it. My point is this is my attractive point, right? And the next thing that I want you to do is you see we are having different kind of lengths here, right? For the vectors. And if I use an amplitude, this these are going to be my vectors for now, obviously. But the lengths are a bit different, right? So in order to control the length, if I put the length all in, they are going to be moving the same logic. So I'll be putting sort of a division here in which I'll be controlling my, like let's say 100 and, or 1200. So this is going to be my amplitude. And now if I move these points with this vector, See, we are having sort of a, like having sort of a control by using this and this. But since we are now creating this by using a point on the Z direction, we need to take this vector off. What do I mean by off? If I grab this vector and deconstruct this vector and recreated it by only using the X, Y, Let's see what will happen. I can preview this off for now. And maybe I can preview all this off for now. You see, there is sort of a change. So if I grab a polyline here, let's close this, right click and invert. You see, we are trying, we are getting this kind of a sort of distorted grid, right? see we are when we increase this or decrease this when we increase decrease this it completely changes this is basically changing the whole size of it and this is basically changing the whole organization of it and if i use this to i don't know like if you use a surface four point just for a visualization or like a boundary surface you see, we are having this surface, and if I move this, you see, it's going, it's changing. It's something we are after, right? And if I put this in, I will be having kind of, um, yeah, we can't have it with the boundary surface. Uh, we should be using um, four point surface. And I mean, we can create that as well. It's just if I grab a list item, because now each point has, or each, uh, let's grab a panel, each branch has four points, right? So if I zoom in, grab this, and put these all in, what I'll be having is, I'll be having a surface. Well, why all these surfaces going down? Because we are putting our vector in that direction. So what we can change is we can, if you make it like negative here, it's, go, it, it's gonna go up, okay? Things are gonna go up. And if we increase, decrease this, it's gonna shrink down, it's gonna go up and so and so forth. Uh, well, obviously these are the changes, some sort of shifts. I mean, what we are after here is obviously not this guy, so we can, it doesn't matter now if we make it like this. We are not after that one. Uh, this could be grouped as a surface to surface grouping. This one will be using, and this guy can stay here as a group back to display. Uh, this is an attractive part. But one thing to consider here, like let's say if we have 30 here, 
with the F and here. Well, what would happen if I want to add one more point, right? So, or two points, two more points. So, let's set multiple points and let's try to see. You see, let's preview this off. It's not working as smooth as it was. And the reason for that is we are not using the vectors or we are not having our vectors in a way that we want them to work because now they are all separated from one another and if I preview this one it's quite it looks quite complicated but if the problem here because now we are having a lot of like different points what I want to have is I want to have the sort of the addition of all these vectors in by using mass addition if I grab this mass addition here I connect this here now what I'm seeing is uh, this guy over here and they, they are kind of changing but the problem with this is they're not changing in a way that I want it to change it's now moving all over the place as if they are like just moving the tiles and that is actually pretty much it for this video in the next one i'll be fixing this and we'll be moving on with the sizes